Hello and welcome everyone, this is Menu at Anglolink. Today we're going to look at some differences in American English and British English pronunciation. In order to do that, I've teamed up with my American colleague, Rachel, who is going to introduce herself to you now. I'm Rachel and I have a YouTube channel called Rachel's English. My channel focuses on American English pronunciation. There are videos that go over the specific mouth position for each sound, videos that focus on the rhythm of American English, linking, and videos that show you how to listen for the characteristics of American English. There are over 250 videos with two added each week. I hope you'll check them out. Thank you, Rachel. Okay, I will be focusing on the differences between consonants R and T, and also some very common words that are pronounced differently in American English and British English. Rachel will be focusing on the differences between some vowel sounds. Let's start with the letter R. When the letter R is in the initial position of a word or in the middle of a word, there isn't a huge difference between the way Americans or British people pronounce it. However, listen to me saying the following four words and then listen to Rachel saying them. Rain. Rain. Drain. Drain. Spring. Spring. Berry. Berry. Now, when the letter R is in the middle position, in a monosyllabic word and after a vowel, in British English, we tend to drop it. We also drop the letter R at the end of words in British English. Whereas in American English, there is no difference. Now, I'd like you to listen to me say the following words and then listen to Rachel saying the same word immediately. Birth. Birth. Turn. Turn. Learn. Learn. Work. Work. Germ. Germ. Farm. Farm. Other. Other. Clever. Clever. Director. Director. Right then, let's move on to letter T. In standard British English, the letter T is always pronounced as a T. Whether it is at the beginning of a word, in the middle of a word, or at the end of a word. Whether it's a stressed syllable or unstressed syllable. For example, listen to these four words. Table attain, what, cut. However, in American English, they tend to drop the T in the final position. So now listen to Rachel saying these four words. Table, attain, what, cut. Now listen to her saying the words what and cut again. What, what cut cut now in american english when the letter t is in the middle position in a word it sometimes changes to a soft d this happens either when it's between two vowels or when it's between an r and a vowel so now listen to how i pronounce the following words and immediately to how rachel pronounces them saturday Saturday. Waiter. Waiter. Matter. Matter. Atta. Atta. What about? What about? Party. Party. Sort of. Sort of. Part of. Part of. And finally, in American English, the letter T is sometimes dropped after an N. For example, in British English we would say center, interview, internet. Now listen to how Rachel pronounces them. Center, interview, internet. Center, center, interview, interview, internet, internet. 
Okay, that's all for the consonants R and T. Now we're going to look at some very common words in English that are pronounced quite differently in British English and American English. So I'm going to say them and then you will listen to how Rachel says them. The letter Z. The letter Z. New. New. Adult. Adult. Brochure. Brochure. Garage. Garage. Address. Address. Laboratory. Laboratory. Route. Route. Advertisement. Advertisement. Controversy. Controversy. Patent. Patent. Apricot. Apricot. Vase. Vase. Hurricane. Hurricane. Inquiry. Inquiry. Leisure. Leisure. Either. Either. Neither. Neither. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this part of the lesson. To continue this lesson with Rachel, click here. She will be telling you about the differences in vowel sounds. If you want to subscribe to our channel, click here. And if you want to subscribe to Rachel's channel, click here. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye now.